Good morning. I decided to do a live this morning for my room um, because I had a vision this morning when I was getting ready for the daily spread and just looking at the energy. So, um, yeah, because I'm not in my home, I am going back to Canada in about three weeks. Uh, so we can get some better videos. So I'm glad and thank thankful for you guys for putting up with me um, with the setups and everything like that. But when I went this morning to do the daily read for the High Level Soulmates and Twin Flame Collective, I saw, I had a vision of a masculine in a kitchen um, and with a, with a karmic person or their partner. And this person started to throw things like pots and hit this masculine and very highly verbally abusive. And... I've been feeling this depressive state come through in the collective with these masculines and I think I'm going to do a um, a video about divine masculines and where they struggle in regards to domestic violence. I think it happens a lot more uh, than we know. I believe that there's a lot of distortion and power that distorted feminines have in regards to being verbally abusive and manipulative and controlling. And it's definitely something that needs to be addressed. And I'm sorry, my mom is making her smoothie, so you're going to hear that. So let's see what's going on, because I feel like this masculine, if this is resonating, um, this woman is very upset. She's hitting him. She's screaming profanities at him. She's breaking down on the floor, crying. She's... Um, using a mental illness i feel that she's saying that she has a mental illness or she's suicidal <sighs> sorry guys about my mom in the blender <laughs> um and she's using this as an excuse to keep this masculine and saying you don't leave somebody you can't do this to people you know i have a mental illness and all of this and um is completely in refusal of taking responsibility for themselves. So they're they're threatening. Um, let me just pause this. This blender is driving me nuts. Okay, so sorry about that. So yeah, they're uh, just highly verbally abusive and trying to control the situation and like slapping this masculine square, swearing at him, screaming at him, just acting like out of control so I want to see um, what's going on in the connection that's making this karmic really upset and one just came out the time is not right for me to reach out so this masculine is really saying this is why they can't reach out because they're dealing with somebody who's completely losing their shit I also feel that this masculine feels bad you know leaving somebody with a mental illness because can you blame somebody for being sick and i believe that they've been brainwashed into believing that mental illness and i've dealt with mental illness can be healed it can yes it's a chemical imbalance but that's a chemical imbalance because your brain can't be fully conditioned to the way of this world because your soul is pre, pre, pre uh, takes precedence over this world and this is why we see people with mental illnesses and people get trapped into labels and autism and, and ADD and anxiety and all of these different labels because they can't, uh, they have to put everybody in a box. That's how the ego works. So there's definitely, um, this is where this masculine is getting trapped. You know, how can I leave this person if they're sick? If somebody had cancer, would I not help them and support them? But it's a trap. This is the trap that they're in. So this is a very psychological trap that's happening. And this is why we're saying, I'm not ready for what you have to offer because of this karmic energy right now. I'm with them, but I'm thinking about you in abundance. And I feel this masculine's higher self wants to come through to let you guys know that they're really stuck in a very deep psychological loop. So let's see what else. I'm just going to pull some tarot. I don't have many cards with me here. But this is the message from this masculine. I wasn't planning on doing it this way. I usually just pull, have my coffee in the morning and pull cards in the morning and just connect to spirit. It's 
kind of like my meditation. People meditate. I don't meditate. <laughs> I don't need to meditate. My mind is, I'm not in my head. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, this is all very interesting here, what's coming through. Because I really saw the chaotic energy. And this masculine has been abused by women, I believe, most of his life. Or has had some type of um, brute force from women. So, let's see. Let's clarify for each one spirit for this masculine that wants to come through in regards to this psychotic, crazy woman. Um, that's because this woman is housed by multiple entities. So we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Nine of Cups in reverse, the Six of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups in reverse. So yeah, they're not ready to reach out it's not the right time because they're feeling completely stuck in this situation why are they feeling stuck spirit this is in their head space this is what they've been going around and around in their head saying um this person's sick i need to help them first yeah because they they are they have an investment here of closing off the past they almost feel somewhat responsible for this person and so this is why they're dealing with this abuse because they feel that they've done this abuse or they feel like they've somehow caused this, but they didn't. Um, this is how this karmic has manipulated people in the past. I'm sick. There's something wrong with me. Um, or, you know, I'm just depressed and you should understand that is what I'm hearing. They're saying this to the divine masculine. You should understand that you go through the same thing or you have a deeper understanding. Like you're the one that gives me my strength and they're not, this masculine feels so responsible for what's happened to this karmic. But what they don't understand is like, this is the pattern that this karmic has been doing their entire life and all their relationships. I've seen that they even do that with their children, that their children are so conditioned into taking care of this person like this person this karmic energy if they're a mother or a father they can't take care of themselves their children end up taking care of them um because yeah spirit is saying that they're highly privileged in a sense of uh keeping their feelings at a very surface level they they want to keep it at that level and whenever it breaks they lose their shit. They, they have so much pent up energy and emotions within themselves. It's like one little break throws them off the handle. And I know people like that, that they just refuse to do their work. And so they just keep staying at a very surface level in their mind psychologically. And it just, you know, but when it keeps happening over and the cycle keeps happening over and over and over and over again, you know, they break. And this karmic person is about, is really losing their shit really truly so this masculine is saying i'm not ready for what you have to offer because i'm closing off this nine of cups in reverse i'm completely closing it off i'm not dealing with it but it's taking me quite a bit yeah i can't move forward right now this person feels actually very foolish as well um with the fool in reverse they're saying i can't move forward right now they can't action with the knight with the king of wands in reverse and they almost feel like you're going to walk away here they see you walking away i want to get another card on that they see this they see their divine counterpart walking away yeah and this is what they have to say i'm working on my inner issues and i love you they're doing their work. So they're promising you, like, I'm doing my work. I promise you, like, I feel so bad. And even the way that this person looks, like, so regretful, you know, with their head down, you know. But they're like, I'm doing, I'm doing my work, baby. Like, I'm doing the work. I'm closing off this past here. We have the karmic energy at the bottom of the deck with the Queen of Wands. So they're saying, I'm, I'm ending this. I'm... Yeah, I'm a, I'm, we have the sun with the five of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. So what I'm getting here is in between is this abandonment issue. What this person that they're with is bringing up is their own abandonment issues. They know what it's like to be abandoned. So they don't want to abandon the situation, but it's, 
It's actually hindering their new beginning and it's hindering their enlightenment. So I feel that this masculine has kind of given all that he could, but he knows that if he completely does that last little break, um, it's going to cause massive issues. And I don't know if he's ready for that. This abandonment, let's clarify that abandonment for this masculine. Yeah, it's his two of swords. He's not seeing how to move forward with this yet. He's still stuck. You guys know, like, if you're with... I've been with so many psychotic partners. It's like, it kind of gets old where you realize this person isn't taking responsibility. I'm just stuck. And it. I don't know if they're quite there yet. I think they're starting to see it. But they're feeling like they're taking the responsibility still for this person. Because the person that they're with doesn't want to take responsibility for themselves. Yeah, they're stuck... They're stuck here with the Eight of Wands with the tower in reverse. So exactly. They're stuck in, in allowing this tower to actually fall yet in their heart with this person. Hang on. I'm going to grab another deck. I'm going to pause this. Okay. I'm going to just... I had these here from last night downstairs. So let's take a look here because they're feeling very responsible that they can't let it fall because it's going to cause this person, I don't know, they have a tie with this person. And I think it might be financial. And they're feeling very guilty is what I'm getting. Yeah, Spirit wants me to grab one more. That they're feeling very guilty here. <laughs> but they're ready to defend. So what are they ready to defend? They're defending something. So I feel like what's happening here is that they're starting to get into a place of, you know, um, starting to stand up for themselves. That's why we have the sun and the ace of pentacles here out of their own abandonment issues. They're starting to realize, okay, well, I need to defend myself in this. I have to defend this eternal love. So they're coming to some type of realization, but the karmic energy is, yeah, let's take a look. This karmic energy is, they have a hold on them. Where do they have a hold, spirit? Oh, look what flipped up to the ending. <clears throat> <clears throat> this masculine has ended it, <clears throat> or they, the karmic person knows that they are about to end it, and they're clinging drastically. What is this karmic energy doing to manipulate this masculine? They want a certain amount of pot buyout. So there's something happening with the money. That's what I was feeling. Um, this masculine may have to unexpectedly pay out something that he maybe didn't want to. Maybe in the terms I'm seeing for some for the mental health that they need. Well, then you owe me. You need to like put me into rehab because I'm addicted now because all I do is drink is what I'm seeing like a bottle of whiskey like all I'm doing is drinking so you need to pay for that but I don't think they're going to actually do the work I think they're going to just take the money that's for some this karmic energy is like yeah if you change I'm going to take you to court so they're holding this masculine up I'm taking you to court yeah they're being manipulative with this with this masculine here. Let's see. What is this karmic doing here? In keeping this masculine. He's defending. So let's take a look a little deeper. He's defending this love. And, and knows that he has to abandon the situation. But it's a very sticky situation. So let's see. What is this masculine doing in regards to this karmic? Whoa. A lot. But the one that I saw was like addiction is there. Okay. Um. That was the first thing that I saw that popped out in my visual, in my visual. What is this masculine um, defending here with this eternal love? Yeah, they're focusing on themselves and their shadow work. So they're doing their work and they're defending themselves and the enlightenment that they're gaining here. What else, spirit? Yeah, they want me to use this one now. What is this masculine defending here, spirit? with this eternal love it's driving this karmic insane guys this person has lost like they've gone loony they've gone loony okay i feel they've done everything freaking possible 
to try and keep this masculine and they're figuring like they've tried to go the enlightenment route they've tried to meditate with this person they've tried to whatever but they don't realize how deep and how much healing you actually need to be in a sacred connection yeah this came out last night the time out and the surrender so this masculine here is surrendering to this love and taking a time out with and defending to defend this love this masculine has to defend this love now because i feel like if they're going to come back in union with divine feminine they have to learn how to stand up for their divine feminine it's the protective nature of the divine masculine and they're starting to learn that they have to be yeah um very moderate they have to learn how to balance they have to know how to defend and stand up and do their work in order to come forward for a spiritual partnership if they want real abundance in their life what are they doing towards this karmic energy what is this masculine towards this karmic energy they're claiming their individuality they're like i am claiming my self-worth that's that shadow work that they're doing their spirituality is on the bottom so they're claiming it they're like i am my own person how else are they dealing with this karmic energy they're like, I am my own person and I'm doing my own thing here. See, financial discipline. There is something happening with the money, guys. There's something that this karmic is trying to hang on to and this masculine is trying to change the situation. What is it about the money towards the karmic energy? They're making an effort here about the money. That's where their effort is. They have to parent. That came out last night too. They have to parent this karmic energy because they're acting childish. Well, I'm not going to be stable. I'm not going to have food on the table. Like whatever. Um, what is this karmic energy towards the masculine her spirit? The karmic energy towards the financial, the hold that they have right now? Wow. The hold, the harmony, their health, the music creating and love so they're trying to hang on to this masculine here by being creative trying to share love here trying to say look we can do things together i feel that they're speaking to this person through music sending them music and songs and saying look we're meant to be together i can help you this we can have domestic harmony we can be healthy and the mature man so they see this masculine as a mature man clarify this this karmic yeah that we can create a great fortune together and how is this masculine responding to this i'm going to use some tarot now <laughs> look at my bed uh how is this masculine responding he's saying i want ten of cups to the karmic I'm getting off this path and this I'm blocked here. Okay. Okay. He's learned his lessons here. We have the Ten of Cups. He's saying to the karmic, I want the full shebang, God's love, everything else. I'm getting off this path with the page of wands in reverse. Okay. I'm blocked. This is narcissistic. This is a, uh, uh his head and his heart are not aligned it, it's unfeeling it's not it's not logical he's blocked already he's financially been strapped as well with the king of pentacles in reverse he's not able to ground anything here um he's learning his lessons and seeing through the illusion of this marriage of tradi this traditional marriage or this commitment and the seven of cups in reverse that it was just all a dream what's this masculine towards this karmic so he doesn't want this Oh, with this, this hierophant here. That's how he's responding. That's what's driving them. They're at completely different ends right now. They can't seem to agree on anything because this karma keeps fighting for the relationship and the masculine is like, no, <laughs> I don't want it. What is this masculine saying to the karmic? Yeah, separation. He's, um... Missing you, thinking about you, watching you, stalking, love call. I feel that this is towards the Divine Feminine. Hang on, let me clarify that. Yeah, it is the Divine Feminine. He's pushed the Divine Feminine away and has rejected the Divine Feminine. 
So his response to the karmic energy is nothing. He doesn't even want to action anything because we have the queen of pentacles in reverse, which came out here with the king of pentacles in reverse counterparts here, knowing that they're meant to be together and doesn't want to give to the situation. So he may love bomb this divine feminine, just realize this masculine is not in a good place. So you have to have very serious boundaries in regards to, um, you know, moving forward. But I think this masculine needs help because I feel that he's realizing, oh my God, like I'm stuck in massive domestic violence here. He's watching, he's stalking you, he's sad, he's missing you, he wants to express love to you. And that's because of this illusion. Everything's been broken because of this psychotic nature of this karmic energy is completely um, kind of lost their shit, like seriously lost their shit, all right? We have abundance here in giving. This masculine is abundant and wants to give. Clarify this spirit. We have the emperor in reverse, devil in reverse, eight of swords in reverse. Yeah, this codependency, I feel they gave everything to this karmic energy. I feel they bought them a house or they bought them um, a truck, as I'm seeing, or they bought them um, just nice things, just nice things. And uh they really gave i feel like they overgave and they're seeing how they overgive <laughs> they're people pleasing but that's because they've had abusive relationships with women they've always had very controlling women and so i feel you divine feminine um that's watching this or whoever houses the energy of divine feminine what's happening is because of your power it triggered them because they're not used to being they don't subconsciously the wounding of being around powerful women was that it was distorted power and they had to go into this karmic situation because they had to see what distorted power was and what real power was and so now they're seeing that and now they're like this person that i'm with is freaking psychotic like that is distorted feminine energy that they're trying to push it push it push it and i was so afraid of my divine feminine uh, thinking that they would be able to control me and it brought up so many so much pain that they ran that they're realizing, oh my God, that's actually divine feminine energy because they're just grounded and straightforward and ooh, to the point. And there's a bird that just flew right to the window. Hi. Oh my God. Thank you, spirit. Like a red cardinal almost. Um, so yeah, that's very significant. Um, and they're realizing that's why they ran. Um, they thought that this karmic was softer and, and subconsciously that they could control the situation, but they're realizing, realizing they picked someone more controlling than them and ended up being the one back into an abusive situation again. Yeah. The karmic is hitting this domestic, the swearing, degrading, demasculating. This mask has been demasculated most of the time in his life. So he doesn't have a good role model of how to be a divine masculine. But it's in his heart. He already knows it in his soul. He's already learned those lessons. He just has to get over his fear. Yeah, he likes this divine feminine. Romance is blooming, blooming, meeting and conversing, wanting to come towards divine feminine. Can we start off as friends? Can we take it slow? Can we meet up? Can we talk? You know, I've been hit by Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise. Invitation or meeting. Hesitation. They've been stuck in an empath narcissist paradigm. That's what they've been stuck in. That's why they're not coming forward. I'm telling you, you guys, I'm seeing this woman psychotic, okay? Like, dramatic as fuck, okay? Falling on the floor and just, like, throwing things, throwing, like, dishes at this person, whacking him in the head, beating him on his chest. Like, just don't leave me, like... Do you not see? I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to seriously kill myself. And opening pills and just starting to down the pills. Like, honestly, this is this is what they're dealing with. And it's, it's massive control because this person is losing all control. Clarify this snake that they're dealing with, spirit. Yeah. They're seeing the clarity and the truth. Revelation. Uh, force, honor, protection, and power, receiving what you need, paradigm, leaving with the boat, right? Closures, moving on, you know? This, this is what they're seeing with this girl with the snake. They don't want it. They don't want it. They want, their, they're moving towards their twin flame. I can't make it up, guys. I can't make it up. 
So, yeah, they are with this person, but they're thinking, they can't stop thinking about you, Divine Feminine. They want to end their regrets with you. They want to come forward. But they're very broken, right? And this is why, Divine Feminine, if this is resonating with you, you have to do this work. You have to know narcissistic energy. You have to go through the brunt of it yourself, right? They're blocking this karmic energy now because they're psycho. Look at this. This is the psychotic narcissist queen of swords in reverse is really evil me. You know, they want their destiny here with the star on the bottom. So, yeah, they're pretty much at a place where they're like, I'm with this person, but fuck it. I can't deal with this anymore. Um, so clarify this, that they want to end their regrets. They're really looking at how to move forward. They're being a little trapped in their um, financial world. So they're getting very disciplined right now with their financial world. Look at this. The magician in reverse with the queen of wands. They're being manipulated. They're being completely manipulated by this, this person. So they're blocking it. They're blocking it. They're not taking it anymore. They're contemplating. They're going back and forth of how to move forward with the chariot, the two of wands. They're like, how do I move forward? I need to get the frig out of here. Seriously. So they're trying everything. I feel this person may get a cut in, uh, like may just take a loss in money or may get like i don't know but they're good doing something here and moving forward let's what is this manipulation here with this karmic energy yeah they're ending with the lovers in reverse and the seven of wands in reverse they're breaking it down and they have to hold a strong stature because this queen of wands how are they mentally yeah they're letting go of the queen of wands opening up and letting go how is this how is this <clears throat> queen of wands handling this karmic energy handling this breakdown oh they're using a community so this is what i'm going L listen this karmic is very manipulative they're going to this your person's family they they they've uh, been able to manipulate people in the family from very early on so they're going to the family now they're going to their work their co-workers they're saying that you know this person is leaving me and I'm not stable and he's being an ass or he's cheating on me and there's somebody else and like he's just a, he's a horrible person and just spreading a lot of lies here about what's happening because they're saying that he's leaving me he's going on a journey what are they doing with the yeah they're going he's going on a journey to court somebody else <laughs> they're so mad guys what is this community here what are they saying in the community yeah, see the false person. What are they saying to the community? Yeah, they're saying that there's a gift here. They're saying that this was stolen from them. This is what I'm trying to see what they're saying to people around in your person's life. They're saying that this is stolen. That he can't stop thinking about this, that it was a gift. Right. But it was manipulated. They think it, it's manipulative. I think they think this entire twin flame thing is toxic. <laughs> That's because you haven't hit that level of consciousness, bitch. Seriously. Like you haven't hit there. So go do what you need to do. If you can get there try try and get there yeah they're coming they're like i've lost this because the, they're saying bad things about this mass like this person's obsessive they can't stop thinking about this other woman that he's uh possessive about it it's very toxic um it's it's he's deranged they're deflecting their mental illness onto this masculine and trying to confuse and get and get leverage so that everybody else is piling up on your on your person that's really what's happening guys it's really disgusting yeah, they're saying, oh, it's destiny, it's meant to be, we're trying to heal, but he's not in his right state of mind. What else are they saying, this karmic, about the masculine to people? He wants to return to the past, he's not working on it. Yeah, it's a complete injustice. Eight of cups in reverse with the eight of one, sorry, eight of pentacles in reverse and the justice in reverse so they're saying it's a complete injustice he thinks that this is a gift from god and it's not so i feel like maybe if your person's family is religious they're not into you know the mystical realms they may be very more religious and following you know the quran or following the torah or the bible or and there's nothing wrong with that but you have to know you have to know history to know that when you're reading those texts 
it's not all true. It's been manipulated a lot. So you have to know your own resonance of how God talks to you. So I feel like that they're using that leverage in the community and people around them to say that this masculine is crazy. What are they saying? What are they saying to people? What is this karmic saying to the community to, to demasculate this masculine? Okay, we have engagement. Hold on. Yeah, I felt this one coming out. Yeah, he want we're engaged or we're married and we have a commitment, but he wants many options and making decisions, stringing along one night stand. He wants to like date. He wants to go out and he thinks that um, clarify this engagement ring with this karmic. Yeah, they're chasing the snake. Look at this. He's clarifying the engagement ring. They're they're saying they want a ring. They want a higher level of commitment. They want to take it to the next level, and they're chasing and they're and they're competitive. They're highly competitive, highly crazy, <laughs> highly clingy, highly possessive. Um, can't let this person go. It's all about the money, the abundance here for them, and they're saying that they want to date. So they're telling people he wants to move towards this other relationship. It's a loss. He's psychotic. Yeah, he has outdated thinking. He doesn't know. He's just possessive. He has an addiction. Yeah, he wants to end this for something else. He wants to end our marriage or he wants, he's not moving towards this anymore. He wants to end, clarify the wedding rings for a real, for this other person. For a courtship. Saying that he's transformed, but he's self-absorbed narcissist. Yeah. Saying that, oh, it's all an awakening. It's all his whatever, but he's really just nar narcissistic when they're deflecting their own narcissism onto your person. Wow, guys. Very in-depth reading today. Um, yeah, this masculine has to be very self-disciplined. What is this karmic's energy right now? This karmic's energy? Yeah, see, there's been a, a happy ending. <laughs> Maybe not for them, but they're trying to still communicate and get this before they come to you. There's something, what's happening with the finances, Spirit? What's happening with the finances? They have to have patience. Something is not working out yet with the finances. So there's something still going on with the finances. Completion. So there is a completion that's happening here. So there is some patience. That's what the holdup is at right now. Any final messages from this Divine Masculine? Uh, we have no on the bottom. So I feel like this masculine's like, no, I don't want this with this person anymore. What is going on with this masculine towards the Divine Feminine? I'm trying to manifest us right now. What is this masculine towards the Divine Feminine? The third party, this came out last night too. The third party knows about you and I'm running the hell away. <laughs> what do they want to say about this third party? Yeah, look at this. Oh my God, I'm going to just go through it right here, okay? This is the final message Spirit is saying. So they're like, baby, I'm ready to take a leap of faith here. I got to come forward. I know it. I want to talk to you, but I'm really afraid because every he, this person is in high fear because that's all the energy they've been living at. They have, they are only getting glimpses of their soul because this karmic is just deflecting all their nastiness onto this person, hitting them, verbally abusing them, talking bad about them, getting everyone against them. Like it's really disgusting. But they know that you are two bodies and you have one soul. This is definitely a twin flame connection. They know that this is eternal love. They know that. They know that there's been secrets that they want to come forward and they want to share what's happening with them. They know that this is their balance. This is the moon and the sun. This is the night and day. You guys are total opposites, but that's yin yang. Opposites attract. It is uh, the balance of seeing two perspectives and coming into one union with each other. That's why we have the two bodies and one soul right and this is all new to me and I'm completely overwhelmed and I think they really want to come forward for support and friendship and help so yeah they're burnt out they're tired all right my loves don't forget to like subscribe if you want to work with me take a look down below uh yeah comment let me know what this is all about and yeah I'll see you guys soon so much love bye